On the 4th of November 2002, a company called Insomniac Games released a video game that took the world by storm. Well, not exactly the world, but at least the gaming world. Well, not quite the whole gaming world. I guess just the PlayStation fanboys. In fact, not even the PlayStation fanboys, just the people who can actually tolerate kid-friendly games, which these days seems to be a minority. Uh, but that's not the point. Those who played the game thought it was very good indeed, maybe one of the best games of all time, and I was one of them. So today, on the 29th of October 2011, I am going to be starting a series of videos which involve me reliving the fantastic gaming experience that is known as the first Ratchet and Clank game. Hope you enjoy, or not, whatever. Final step, attach robotic ignition system. Thank you for using help desk technology. So there we have it people, the start to one of my favourite video game series of all time, Ratchet and Clank. This is awesome, it's the beginning of the beginning. It's the beginning of the beginning of the beginning. It's the beginning of the beginning of the beginning of the beginning. Okay, I should stop now. Um, yeah, so basic controls, obviously the left analogue stick to move, the right analogue stick to move the camera. Oh yeah, gotta love that. Okay, I'm, I'm obsessing a little bit too much here. Um, press square to use your wrench. Uh, if you jump with X like every other video game except the ones that suck. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Press X and then... <laughs> if you press X you jump. If you press X twice you uh, do a flip. And if you press X and then square you um, throw your, you slam your wrench down which is, the, um, which is twice as powerful as using your wrench normally. You can also throw your wrench by holding R1 and um, pressing square. And triangle brings up the UI which we'll get into later and circle is used to fire a weapon. In this case you only have the bomb glove which is the weapon you start out with besides the wrench of course. Uh, here we have it the first enemies I'm not sure what they're called I'll flash it on screen. I'm gonna um, sort of uh, have it a little a brief bio about all the enemies um, when they first make their appearance in this walkthrough. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that because I haven't planned <laughs> any editing out at the point of making this. BA yeah, you can kill those enemies to get bolts. Now I haven't really gone to the currency of this game. Bolts are the currency in the Ratchet and Clank series. Yep. Bolts are. Well not just bolts but that's what they're called. Nuts, bolts, all those sorts of uh, mechanical uh, um, foundation units. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, the help desk girl will help you 
with a couple of things. Of course, I'm going to help you more because I'm better than her. And I didn't even get paid. <laughs> Despicable. Uh, yeah, these enemies are pretty easy. They only take one wrench here. You don't need to use your bomb glove just yet. Uh, you want to collect as many bolts as possible because you use them to buy new weapons in the game. And gadgets, of course. Which, again, we'll get into later. As the help desk girl is explaining, you have four nanotech points, which is your life. So that means you can get hit four times before you die, and you collect these to restore one of those units. Uh, I'll just do a demonstration. You see at the top there? I just lost a nanotech, and I can get it back by walking up to it. You don't have to walk right into it. It'll um, come near you. Like bolts do, that you don't have to walk right over them. They'll sort of um, come near you over time. Uh, so yeah, you want to uh, get as many of these crates as possible. You get lots and lots of bolts here. Yeah. Just lo I just love collecting bolts. It's so satisfying. and Slamming your wrench down feels so solid in this game. That's why I always loved it. Since I was six years old. Oh yeah, slam that wrench down. Uh, these enemies are still fairly weak. You know, they only take two hits with your wrench, which is quite... Uh, well, it's not very much at all for a, a large enemy. Normally they take three hits in this game. Um, I don't need to use it, but you might as well use your bomb glove. And you can take these guys out in one hit. And of course they are um, minor AoE. That means area of effect. So they can take out quite a few enemies. Get back here! You can take out quite a few enemies at a time. Now, the boxes that say G on it, and that's for Gadgetron, which is the uh, weapon company in this game. Um, they, they make all your weapons and gadgets. Good old Gadgetron. And you uh, open those crates to get ammunition for your weapons. So that's fairly straightforward. Uh, you should have no trouble with this at all. This is basically a very short level to get you started with the game. Uh, just smash open crates. Try, try to collect as many bolts as possible. You want to do that throughout the whole game. Uh, the easiest way to take out these enemies is just to slam um, red... Uh, what's... Hyper Strike. Hyper Strike. I can't remember what it's called where you jump and... I should I should know this. I'm a Ratchet Clank nerd for God's sake. Uh, I'll flash it on screen right now or whatever. And hopefully in my next recording session I'll know what it is. Uh, but yeah, that's the end of this level, so enjoy the cutscene. Interesting. Yay! You're quite handy with your wrench. You bet. I built that ship with it. Hmm. Currently, I'm in search of someone who could be of assistance in saving the solar system. Do you know where I might find that fellow? Well, he's on the radio every week. Other than that, no. Hey, what's with all this save the solar system stuff anyway? Hello, citizens of... My race, the Blog, have a small problem. Our planet has become so polluted, overpopulated, and poisonous that we are no longer able to dwell here. But I, Chairman Drek, have a solution. We are constructing a pristine new world using the choicest planetary components available. So, what does this mean to you, you might ask? Using highly sophisticated technology, which you couldn't possibly understand, we will be extracting a large portion of your planet and adding it to our new one. Unfortunately, this change in mass will cause your planet to spin out of control and drift into the sun where it will explode into a flaming ball of gas. But, of course, sacrifices must be made. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. And if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my... We're still on? Well, turn it off, you idiot! The people on those planets are hosed. Well, good luck getting Captain Quark to help you. Actually, you could help me. If you could use your ship to take me to the coordinates contained in this infobot, I might be able to gather further information there. Even if I wanted to, I can't. I'm missing a crucial component of the ship. The robotic ignition system. How did you know that? I, sir, happen to be equipped with the latest in robotic ignition systems. My programming allows me to start any ship I choose. So, I agree to take you to this wherever it is, 
and you get my ship started for me? That is what I'm proposing. Deal. This could be a problem. Take care of it. Whoa, this is great! So that's where I've been stuck this whole time. Please return your appendages to the steering mechanism, sir. Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and by the way, you could stop calling me sir. The name's Ratchet. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. You got a name? My serial number is B54296. Oops. I'll just call you Clank for short. Hang on! So, you see, it would be most beneficial if your citizens were not in the city when my workers begin removing it. Preposterous! I will not stand for this! Unfortunately, you have no choice in the matter. Let's just see what Captain Quark has to say about that, my good man. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. Captain Quark could dispatch you without even breaking a sweat, you, you puny. You have now officially worn out your welcome and my patience. This is your last chance. Stop this madness now! Okay, wait. You're right. I will withdraw my troops. Really? No! He's all yours, gentlemen. Try not to leave any marks. Clank? Where are you? Oh, sorry about that. Well, we're not leaving the way we came in. Perhaps we could procure a ship from one of the inhabitants. If there are any left. In case you didn't notice, uh, the guy in the cutscene is the antagonist of the game. Uh, so yeah, you now have Clank with you. So it is now Ratchet and Clank, and not just Ratchets. Now, this is the first uh, official planet of the game that you can actually revisit. It's called uh, Novalis. And you have a choice of three paths. That one you don't need to do, but I will do later anyway. Uh, these two you're going to eventually need to do anyway. And I'm just going to go uh, do the main path first, but not before. Check out the Gadgetron vendor. Now, there are um, one of these, well, in the start of every planet there's one of these, and you can um, buy ammunition uh, for a certain number of bolts to your um, weapon, or you can buy new weapons altogether. That's called the Pyrocitor. It's basically a flamethrower. I'll buy it later. Uh, sorry, I do have a bit of a cough, so that is why I sound a little bit funny. Uh, but yeah, just take this elevator to ascend down to the planet, and let's get started, shall we? So yeah, it's the same world as usual, uh, defeating all the enemies, and you know, get collecting all the bolts and stuff. Should be awesome. Uh, these are the little enemies that are uh, the game. Uh, the big guys still only take two uh, hits to. Uh, take them. Of course, this is the beginning of the game, so naturally it would be relatively easy. I still don't feel the need to use any weapons yet, but later you will need to. And if you're not, uh, if you're new to the Ratchet and Clank series, you might actually want to use the weapons against them. But I'm relatively experienced, if I do say so myself. So we can just continue, shall we? not really much you have to worry about at the start of the game. Oh crap, only on one nanotech. That's pretty bad. Ugh, I should find some more health. So yeah, Clank doesn't actually do anything at this point of the game. He's just on your back to... He's just there for the ride, really. Okay, he's not there for the ride. He's here to help you. But at this point, he doesn't actually help you uh, combat-wise. He will later, of course. Uh, nearly have enough bolts to buy that weapon. Needed about 350 more. Cost 2,500. <gasps> oh no! 
a ship just shot parts of that bridge down for some reason. And now it's impossible to cross. Actually, no, it's pretty easy. It just requires you to move the analog stick in a direction other than forwards. Hit up! You dead, punk. Yes, you dead, punk. Saying that in my English accent. By the way, for those of you who are not familiar with my videos, I'm English, not Australian. I mean, really, I'm not Australian. So, just keep that in mind. Uh, collect all the bolts around here. Wait, can you get here? Okay, there's nothing there. I don't believe I noticed that before. Oh well. <coughs> Dude, we're nearly done. It's still pretty easy at this point. This is the thing with platform. You just kind of run out of things to say. Uh, Oh crap, how am I on one nanotech again? I must be going careless. Oh, I just suck. You dead punk. Haha. -ha. That's a bit impractical to use the bomb against uh, little enemies, because it's kind of... I think it's kind of meant for stronger enemies. In a way, that you can use it to take out multiple enemies at a time, but that's just a bit excessive. don't really need to do that. Ugh. Time for an epic showdown. Not really, it's just three enemies. Should be no problemo. Though I should probably take that nanotech. Before they take it from me! Okay, no, enemies don't actually take health from you. They're too stupid. And plus that'd be a bit unbalanced. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, cutscene triggered. Don't hurt me! Don't hurt me! Oh, what are you? Mercenaries? Torturers? Assassins? I I'll tell you anything. Here, take my infobot. It's all I've got left. Sir, we're not assassins. Hold on. Let's see what he's got. Has this ever happened to you? Hi, I'm Captain Quark, and believe me, there's nothing worse than stirring down a Blargy and Snaggle Beast from the inside and knowing your equipment isn't functioning properly. That's why I come to Al's Robo Shack for all my electronic needs. Al has been the exclusive repair shop for my super electro gadgets since I was knee high to a sand mouse. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. Right, Al? <laughs> you said it, pal. So if you're fighting crime, or just fighting grime, <laughs> come to Al's RoboShack in Metropolis for all your robotic repairs. Al's RoboShack, it's quarktastic! Do you know what this means? Yeah, Captain Quark is really sold out. No, it means Captain Quark is on Metropolis. We could tell him about this invasion. If we had a ship. Uh, what? Uh, a ship? What? You're not going to torture me? Well, as planetary chairman, I could arrange for you to borrow our courier ship. Cool. You can count on us, sir. Right. Thank you, your chairman shipliness. Gadgetron Infobots give you coordinates for new planets. Okay, after that cutscene, this bridge will trigger, which will allow you to get back to the start of the planet. Uh, missing bolts. Did I actually get that nanotech? Yeah, I did. One that I nearly got before the cutscene triggered. And with that done, I think I should end this video off here because it's getting a little bit long. So hopefully I'll be seeing you next time on Let's Play Ratchet and Clank.